I this place will be completely full of people. And then uh, you'll come around the corner, push it to the outside, drop it to the inside, and then the two little black lines right oh, there, right, you that's your transponder trip. And then, see that skid mark right there? <laughs> that's where the other <laughs> semi went off three years ago. Oh, really? Yeah. What, you just overcorrect? Right from zero to point. zero at about 40 feet. Wow. <laughs> Um, here you're pushing, gaining speed, push to the outside. It's an R3 sweep. Drop it to the inside, be careful dropping it off of the pavement because it's rough. Float it to the outside a little bit. R2 into an L2. But you gotta watch that gutter on the inside there too. And there's not too many spectators down through here. There'll be some. And it's a L3 sweep. R2 long. Adapt for the motorcycles? Yeah, motorcycles, some for the cars, but <clears throat> and see, I don't differentiate between that one and this one because that's how I call it an R2 long because it flattens in the middle but just keeps carrying. Uh, L2. You gotta be careful not to drop off of that one too. L2 into R3. Would you be going in through here? L2, about 70. And then dropping down to about 50 in these corners. And we're six. going how fast right now? 30. And R4 into L3. through there. I hope you can see it. That's where Travis Petrano went off this corner at about 80 miles an hour. This is engineer. This is engineer. It looked like they went off yesterday or today. Probably on a bike. Yeah. So you got it. And Matt knows this corner, but you got to make sure that it's marked and you pay heat because it's eating a lot of cars. That nine mile sign, that, that the, zig, the zigzag sign on the right, and the yeah. nine mile sign on the left. Are it's your, a 15 mile an hour zigzag. Yeah. That's your visual cues, and you can pretty much run it fairly close to that that nine mile sign right. before you shut it down. But you damn sure about it be on the binders. And this is halfway picnic ground. There'll be a bunch of people here. 
then on the way back down, there'll be a bunch of drunk people here. <laughs> so I noticed when we come then. down. What's that? What's that? I noticed when we come down, the, the parking was in here. I didn't realize they'd let them park like right on the road. No, here, they won't be on the road, but they'll just be people all over the place. This is an L2 transition uh, asphalt con asphalt to dirt. This is where it gets fun. Is there about three miles of dirt? Two and a half miles? Just over two. But you gotta watch those because that's all concrete. Oh, that's right. They did a little swale. And those are sharp, sharp edges and they'll cut your tires. You got some of these off cameras, which are fun because you can just be right, right on that there, edge in your tire float. and just let her float and then straighten this one out. And then you've got an off camera L3. And by the, hopefully, by the time we get to it, it'll be pretty clean, which the inside is looking pretty clean already. Into an R1 Plus. So you come in here, downshift, right turn and brake, setter. And with those new gears, you know, this corner ought to be really fun. <laughs> Can't drift too far. Yeah, you gotta watch drifting out, but it's pretty hard packed from everybody spinning coming off of that corner. Yeah, it's burnt <clears> in. <throat> starting to burn in. And an L3 sweep. That was windy from Wendy's. Was it really? <laughs> Looked like it. <laughs> had red, hair. red. Definitely had the hair. R4, back there, into an R2. And this is a pretty fast flat corner. Into an L3 sweep. This is called Blue Sky. This is where Mike Reynolds put his semi off. He came flat out right here and then went drifted off right there. L3 and this is a long, it's like an L3 flat and then L3 again. This is 11 mile. This is a fun corner. But with the addition of the concrete. You Do they have, have people parked here? They'll be off, way off the sides. But there'll be people standing all over the place. And then you push it in. Not when I get down. <laughs> R3. Off camera L3. This corner is called Brown Bush. I don't know why. I guess there used to be a brown That's bush. Why they put the toilet there. Yeah. <laughs> R1 Plus. Didn't look like any concrete there in that turn at all. No concrete uh, up here at all. A little now, bit on man. the outside, there's still there's some out here. So you can come inside on this, but you gotta watch that lift. So L3 long sweep. Hopefully, get on your own side. How fast will you be going through here on the dirt? Coming out of that corner, I can't remember from last year, but I know in this straight we were in the 80s. So 50 mile an hour faster we're going now. So you'll leave your little remote brake at home? <laughs> you'll definitely have a little more power than you had this morning starting down here but then it goes away as you go you got to watch this corner here too it's a tight tight l1 plus and you're coming in you're coming in hot too. coming in hot and so set it up downshift turn and brake put the the front down in there and just let her float out because you don't have any concrete over here float it out but not too far just right here about there and then use the the hard pack and then this is the ski area so you're into an uh, r2 tight Almost ran over a guy's head right there last year because he was laying down on the side of the road with his head and his camera out in the road. <laughs> Trying to get that premiere. Well, he picture. was in my line. Would have been a great picture. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's the old ski area there. You know, using. L two long. 
straighten it out. You'd come out wide and just put your tire almost in those rocks and just straighten that one out. And then right turn and brake, R2. Let it float out. Not too far. Yeah, no, not too far. What did you call those earlier, Andrew? Vehicle stands. 7,000 feet. <laughs> Vehicle stands. There was a little curve. Dad, 11,000 feet. Yeah, we just crossed 11,000. Oh, 11,000. Cool. And then this is the, the double R at the sump because it, it turns like an R3 and then flattens and then goes to a tightening radius uh, R2. So that's called the sump, this area right here. Looks like this could get you in trouble right here. Huh? That chatter's always there. And then that little two long. This is where I almost hit that Austin Healy last year. It was a spectator. Oh, he was spun out. Right here, showed, showed me to go to the inside. So I tucked right against the ditch there, and he was spun out sitting sideways right here. And my back tire missed him by about that much. Let's What's here, the separation between the cars that go off the line? Uh, they wait till you get to a certain checkpoint. Because there's 16 flags up and down here with radios and, and people that are working the pit the track. And so that's why they were talking about if you see a red flag, if they're out in the road with a red flag, you just stop and pull over right by them. And then don't go back downhill until they release you on race day. You'll get to restart. This is a R1. And it's always chattered up like this right in here. So does that chatter washboard out more as the day goes on or does it burn out a little it bit? It burns out a little bit. So I remember and that. This is where too. we start getting into the half concrete, rough, half dirt, fun stuff. I'm Charlene and after going to lots of events across the nation I found something missing. Cute girl shirts that actually fit. I came up with some fun designs including the I drive and I ride sayings, found good quality shirts, tanks and sweatshirts, an extra small to four extra large and want you to enjoy them as much as I do. I made a special shirt for my mom and I'm working on new designs right now. We also have other brands available on the website including a complete I'm not just a girl jewelry line. Check out the website, imnotjustagirl.com, and our Facebook page. Be sure to send me a picture of you wearing your shirt, and I'll be sure to post it.